Hi Team Fullest, this is again Amy, welcome back to my channel, welcome to work of my canal. So, we're going to start first with my hair, we're going to make sure we do the hair. Um, you guys know I relax my hair, but my hair does, does not look like a hair that is relaxed. And I've also cut my hair and I have a lot of new growth, can you guys see that? Like, this is new growth, like this, this much of new growth I have. So, and I'm, I don't want to relax my hair anytime soon, to be honest, because it's just been a month um, since I relaxed my hair and I've seen a lot of new growth. Um, yeah, so I want to come and do the simple hairstyle. I've washed my hair, I've conditioned it, I've detangled it, everything is done. So it's just time to style the hair. First, like to like comb it, go through with a white tooth comb. Just comb it, get rid of any tangles and any knots. Even though I have detangled it, but it's just good to do that. So now it's time to moisturize the hair. I use this um, hair repairing cream I picked up from the Lido. If you live in Holland, check out the Lido. And I also use this African Pride leave-in cream this is what I use so my, my hair is already um, washed conditioner and oil what I do because my hair is very dry when I finish I'm um, washing my hair I take my hair oil I put it in my into my hair massage it and then rinse it out with water so because of that you guys can see I have like oil is still shining so my scalp is not really dry it's still of oil in here so I just take the leave-in cream a little bit. I like to like go focus it, focus more on the ends, you know, because that is where I is processed. That's the processed parts of the hair. So I focus on the ends and also in the middle, like here. Make sure all the hair is coated with some product. I like to. Hold the ends like this, take the product, and then just go like massage it in like that. Just like to put my finger through the product, take a little bit more, and now let's do the edges like. So now that we've done that, I'm just going to close this. I'm going to take a little bit of this hair repairing cream because my hair is most is uh, relaxed. So this is really good, really good for the hair. To be honest, it's really good for your hair. It helps your hair to get that a little bit of strongness because um, when you process your hair, your hair kind of become very weak. It's not really strong anymore. So you want to help put that strength back into the hair. And because of that, I use the Jamaican black castor oil. That also really helps with that. So now my go-to hairstyle is slick all back. Um, that is actually my go-to hairstyle. So I'm just going to comb my hair, put it in the position that I want it to be, just little by little. Just go in with the wild tooth comb, make sure you get everything sleek back. I really like the sleek hairstyle. I'm thinking of um, doing a protective hairstyle one of these days. Maybe I'll do a sewing or something. I don't know. Or a braid. So 
So after doing that, everything is sleek all the way back. All you need for this hairstyle is moisturize your hair, detangle your hair, and you need elastic band. I like to have this um, elastic that does not really, it's very very soft, doesn't have any um, those iron nuts, nuts that elastic always have, but this one is very very good for your hair, it doesn't really break your hair out a lot. So you need that, and I'm going to use gel, you can use any gel of your choice. Ooh, it's itchy. And I'm going to use this gel. If you live in Holland, I pick up this gel from the Kreitvat. Check it out. Um, I really like this one. And um, it's not really super hard on your hair. Uh, it makes your hair lay down really sleek, but it's not super really, really hard. So I'm just going to take um, a little bit of this gel. Not too much. Because my hair is already um, wet. So just take a little bit like this. And then just sleek the hair down just put it on top of the head just on the top take a little bit more do the same thing So now I'm going to take this hairbrush I'm just going to like brush everything down so As you guys can see, I don't really use a lot of gel I don't, just take a little bit So now I've slicked my hair all back, sorry the camera cut off, now I'm going to do the edges which is always a struggle. I'm going to take this brush, I picked it up from Aliexpress, it has a comb here and it has a brush. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that to lay down my edges. It's easy to do one part to do this side when it's time to do the left part it's a total struggle um, <laughs> it's so crazy I don't know how people do baby hair but I can do it on someone's hair very very well but on my own head it's struggle I feel like this side always comes out really nice and this side just come out like just like the way it is I think I did a good job I don't know for how long is this gonna last but I think I did a good job with the edges so now what we're going to do now I'm going to tie the head let that one to sit let the head to let them tie the head and then let's jump into the face get rid of all this hair product of my face of my face so now it's time to go into my everyday makeup but before we jump into that makeup tutorial let me first do my eyebrow because that takes forever to do 
eyebrow which takes forever that's why I really don't want to show you guys how I do my eyebrow doing my eyebrow alone is extra 30 minutes so yeah so now I've done my eyebrow I use the makeup revelation cork crease canvas concealer to set we are going to use this eyeshadow palette it's one of my favorites actually we're going for a quick transformation let's transform let this transformation begin so I'm going to take this light shade here I'm going to pull this um, on top like here on top of that shadow that I've put on top of the cut crease that I have pulled, we're just gonna dab this all over. Just go little by little. Just try to like create a cut crease. But with the brush, like you're creating cut crease. It's really really soft. It's like a really soft baby pink. Really beautiful. I like it. I really really do like it. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eyes. Just gonna dab, 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 dab. So yeah, this is like a very, very simple um, look. I love this palette. It's like, it has become one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Like, when I want to do like a quick and easy makeup look, uh, I always grab this palette. Or I use the, um, what's not this palette again? NYX um, Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Like the the small mini one I really love it so now I'm gonna take this brown no first I'm gonna take this orange hair I'm gonna use this as a as a transition color on this really small brush I'm just gonna put this like right on top like here and then I'm just gonna blend it just blend just take a little by little you don't want to take too much one thing about eyeshadows is like when you put um too much you have to like really blend to make sure you get rid of the excess like and I really don't like that so for me I just prefer go in little by little with the eyeshadow and build my way up You know, this is just beautiful like this. So guys, have you guys been hearing about the corona corona virus? Like whoo I've been seeing a lot of videos about it on YouTube and also on the Dutch news. Um they're talking about it. Um in China and now they find a patient and someone in Germany that has it now it's not yet in the Netherlands but it's still kind of scary <laughs> it's, it's still kind of scary to to know that your 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 beer man your neighbor your neighbor country have it so yeah but God we leave ourselves in God's hands you know let's God guide and protect us when it's your time to join your ancestors it's your time to join your ancestors so there's nothing you can do about it but we just have to be careful you know that's the only thing it makes it makes it for me like these days I don't really like to um, surround myself where there's a lot of population I don't really want to go I don't really want to be there I just want to you know, normally I don't really go out a lot but it just makes me like I don't really want to be around a lot of population it just makes me want to like go home go work come home and just Stay down, sit down in my house, just mind my own business. That is what I've been doing, but now it's just make it more like, oh, because of this thing is happening, let me just stay in. <laughs> it's it's like the excuse is there now, you know. 
I have been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about it and all that. It's kind of crazy like how every time there is, you guys can see, how every time there's something new coming in the world, you know, it's like, I don't know where the world is going anymore. It's like only God is going to guide us and protect us. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, I've been looking about, I've been looking at it and I'm like, ooh, I'm, I'm, I was a little bit scared at first. Because the way everybody was talking about it is killing people. Also, like, when it comes like the Ebola, the, I don't know, a couple of years now, the Ebola thing. Oh my God, I wasn't in. I was in, I was in Holland and I was reading on the news the Ebola, the Ebola. You hearing people say people are dying. I was like, oh my God, I was like so scared. And that's the same feeling like I'm having right now with this um, Corona. Corona. I can't even pronounce the name coronavirus but the the Dutch um, healthcare medical team or something they're really prepared because they're like really prepared talking about it on the news and explaining about symptoms like um, of course they have the normal flu like the normal grip as we call it in Holland um, people are having it a lot now these days people are having like a lot of flu a lot of grip but because also the virus, um, when, it, when it affects you, it looks like a grip, but it's not a grip. So, like, they're really explaining to people on the news to tell you, like, what are the symptoms. And if you, if you notice anything, instead of just sitting down at home thinking that um, you're just having the flu, it's better to go and do tests so that you can identify, they, they can identify instead of you putting everybody in risk because the thing the the stuff is is transferable so yeah but i've been i've been listening to a lot to, i want to know if you guys see that or am i the only one because i feel like it's everywhere by now most of you guys are supposed to know by now i think they say they found it in france in germany which other country i think yeah those are the two countries uh, I know and also in those Asia parts of other Asia country they also have it there but I'm just like I'm when I when they say Germany I was like Germany from my house to Germany is not that far it's like okay and I got family member calling me it's like be careful oh, don't go to parties don't go out don't go where crowd is stay at your house and I'm like okay 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 <laughs> I'm gonna take this dark shade here and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my eyes, you know. So that is what has been happening. That's that is a lot of it now is on the news every single day. You get like an update on the Dutch news about what is going on. And now I think that the the world the world um, health center or whatever they have declined um, it as a national. World, world crisis something I don't know how to pronounce that but it's, it was good it's good to see the the way the medical team there are a lot they're just everyone is just a lot everyone is on their feet looking out for the people um, yeah sometimes I don't know that the world is coming is coming to an end <laughs> it's crazy mom So I'm just going to take that dark shade. I'm so bad in explaining, but I feel like you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to take that brush that I use just to do like a swiping motion. It's like, like a smooth transition. I feel like this is good now. I feel like the eyes is is definitely good now. Okay, the eyes is good now. So now it's time to line the eyes. So I'm going to take my eyeliner. I'm gonna take this black eyeliner. I'm gonna line the eyes.
Alright, so done with the eyeliner. You guys see the eyeshadow, really beautiful. So now it's time to prime. I'm gonna use this makeup revelation face primer. I'm gonna focus more around the pores. And you guys know I've already set my face also with my makeup revelation oil control set. oil control setting spray. Yes, that. Sometimes I feel like the words either they don't want to come out correctly or they want to make me look like a fool. One of those two things. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put it right on any my eyes, like right here. Around my nose. Just gonna get the perfect skin. My allergic is you guys know. But this is like it's going, it's coming, it's going, it's coming. So I'm happy that it's not like it's not taking over my face like way back. You guys, you guys have seen my skincare videos. You guys know that like, my whole face like it used to be like a mask like this. But now it's clear it up. Thank to God. So we're going to use this liquid frosty liquid eliminator by Jeffree Star Cosmetic. This is a goddess. I love this liquid illuminator. Okay? I love it. Okay, the only thing is that I'm so scared to like pump it because I don't want to take too much. Okay, let's first massage this into the skin. And then if I need more, I'll just take. But with this liquid eliminator, you don't need a lot. It's like a little bit go a long way. So you guys see? A little bit really go a long way. I'm happy that I didn't took that much. And this was so beautiful. When I went out with my friend to the festival, I used this on my face. And people were asking me, oh, your makeup, your skin looks so beautiful. What do you have? What did you put? And I was like, um, makeup? Who did your makeup? I was like, myself. <laughs> it was so fun. Okay, now I have like a whole bunch of liquid eliminates on my forehead. It's gonna make my forehead look big. Don't wanna have a big forehead. <sighs> Why did I poop there okay let's divide this unicorn eyebrow <laughs> we divided the unicorn eyebrow okay I think that is enough let's put it back and now we're going to use the makeup um, L'Oreal foundation invaluable foundation this is an expressor I love this foundation it is such a beautiful foundation. I'm just gonna put it on the brush, dab it all over the face, and then time to press it on the skin. Just gonna do like a pressing motion. Press, 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 press. Ooh, this is this foundation is so good. It's really dark, but it's so good. It's perfect. I love it. Oh, the Makeup Revolution has came has come out with this new concealer. This is the only thing that I don't like about living in the Netherlands. <laughs> when new products came come, when new products are out, we are the last country that will get it. For example, only if you have like a credit card or something or. So order it from the from there, but I don't. Sometimes I'm so tempted to get myself a credit card, but I'm like, nope. I'm like, nope, Amy, you are not ready for credit card. Not I'm not ready for it, but I feel like I'll be so tempted to to buy makeup. Of course, I do have other things. Oh, I tie my ears so hard. My ears are red. I feel like I'll be so tempted to buy uh, makeup and I have credit card. So right now I do have some few things that I'm working on. 
which are more important than buying new makeup at the moment but I know the bougie shop is going to have the foundation maybe it's just gonna be uh, two or three weeks later but it doesn't matter I'm just gonna wait for the bougie shop to have it and then as soon as the bougie shop have it I'm picking it up I am picking it up and I can't wait to review that so as you guys can see, I didn't bring the foundation underneath my underneath my eyes, so that's why it looks like you can see that the foundation is dark because underneath my eyes is way lighter and the foundation is darker. So now we're going to use their concealer also. I'm gonna use this is 338, the same same foundation from the concealer. I'm gonna use this and this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I love this uh, foundation. I have two shades. I have 338 and I have 343. That is that is really really dark. Um yeah, but it's a good one. Don't highlight the forehead. There's no need for that. So let's start blending. I'm using my in stylish sponge I really love the sponge it's really beautiful and it blends really nice you guys can see the product blends really nice and then now just blend, blend the nose and I need the eyes and try not to touch my eyeliner and excuse the crazy face expression expressions I feel like whenever I'm blending underneath my eyes or I'm putting eyeshadow underneath my eyes I always have the craziest face expression I'll be, I'll be like because I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna die or something so you guys gonna excuse that because you'll be looking at me like what the hell is she doing because I have to open my eyes, I have to look upwards so that I can blend underneath my eyes very good and that is what makes it very weird sometimes before when I, when I wasn't have, when I did, when I wasn't doing makeup when I was like 15, 16, 17 I start wearing makeup like 18, when I was 18 years old that is when I start actually wearing makeup, putting lip gloss on my face I was in not I was not I didn't know anything, I didn't know anything about makeup growing up I didn't do makeup I didn't do any of that um, it's when I was 18 I think 18 going towards 19 is when I start wearing makeup I start applying like Vaseline or like yeah like those liquid lip gloss from the Hema those are when I first start buying liquid lip gloss from the Hema and my first eyeshadow palettes that I bought, uh, I think I still have that palette, though I don't use it anymore, but I still do have it. I bought it from a shop named Kike Shop. If you live in the Holland, if you live in the Netherlands, you know the, the shop called Kike Shop. They always have makeup there, and that is where I bought this eyeshadow palette. And that time, it was so crazy. <laughs> I wasn't putting any foundation on. I wasn't doing any foundation. I was just <laughs> doing my eyes. I was not I was not even doing eyeliner. I didn't know how to do eyeliner. I would just take the shadow and put it on my eyes. And I'll just take a pencil and draw a very thin line like chuck on my eyebrow. It's like my 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 old Facebook was hacked. So somebody take took over my Facebook and because of, because of that I don't really have like old pictures but you guys you guys would have laughed at me because it's like so crazy the way I used to do my makeup so I'm gonna take my mixture this is um, ma um makeup revolution setting powder the banana powder and the dark setting powder I mix this together so I'm gonna use this to set but yeah it used to be very very funny I would I, I didn't I, I don't use any foundation it was just the eyeshadow 
and that was it I just put eyeshadow and I was uh, I've gone out of the house and I draw my one stick eye, um, eyebrow and I'll just go out and I, I used to feel so good I used to I used to look like eh, I'm having it all <laughs> oh my god this is so crazy now I sometimes I gotta go back I think I have some old pictures on CDs because I used to put a lot of pictures on CDs and I, now I go back and I'm like damn I mean what what were you thinking look at that eyeliner look at that makeup look what well, was wrong and I was feeling myself you know I was like yeah I'm 18 I can do I can wear makeup not, not that I wasn't allowed to wear makeup but it's just that it wasn't something common people that I was living with they were not putting a lot of makeup nobody was into like full glam so it's also like yeah, yeah as a child you also don't really do a lot because yeah you don't see people doing it a lot so yeah but it was crazy so I'm gonna take <laughs> this brown shade here I'm gonna do underneath my eyes and guys please excuse the fake expression when it comes to underneath my eyes also and I try, I try not to cry as you guys know I always cry underneath my eyes I try not to cry ah it's almost weekend I can't wait Ah, oh, yes, that is, that is done. That is absolutely done. So now, oh, my ears is itchy. Oh, it feels good. Sorry, guys, but it feels really good. When I, every time I finish take shower, I wash my hair. I like to stand underneath the shower. And after, after I finish take, not that my ears is dirty, but because of the water in my ears, it become really itchy. I don't know why I always do that, but I do it anyway. So I'm gonna take this makeup revelation powder. I really love this powder. It has become like one of my favorite powder to set my face with. Ambulance. We have like ambulance roaming around. I could hear them very loud and clear. If you guys can hear that, please excuse more. So, I'm just gonna set, set, set first into the skin. Use the brush to wipe off any excess powder underneath the eyes. Yo, the ambulance is. No, no, it's it's not it's not in my streets, but I could hear the the sound very loud and clear. So yeah, now we have done with that. Where is my contour powder? Okay, this is what happens when you organize your makeup, trying to put everything. So I thought I took this thing out Oh here. I'm going to take my LA Girl Contour Powder and today I'm actually going to try the Bougie Shop Contour Brush that I owe, that I got. I didn't. I got this as a gift when I purchased makeup from the Bougie Shop. So I'm going to try this today. I'm going to take my contour powder. You guys can see that little and then we're going to use this to contour. Let's blend. Mm, so fluffy, so big and fluffy. Okay, I like it. I like it. Just take the excess product on the brush. Let's do the forehead a little bit. And then take product on the brush again. Hmm. And then you can take the other side of the brush and just do maybe get rid of 
some of the excess product. Hmm. Yeah, it blends really nice, guys. Love the brush. Gonna take the the brush, whatever is on the brush. You're gonna try to do the jawline because your girl has been eating a lot. You know. Mm -hmm. Do that. And I guess that is done. That is done. Yes, that is done. We're going to take this um how do you call this? LA color bronzer. I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. It's a little bit dark. Not not as dark as the LA Girl Contour Powder, but it's also it be, you can't see it a lot on my nose, but it's pretty good to contour with. So yeah, so now that we're done with that. Should we do a reverse contour? I think I'm just gonna take a little bit what was on the sponge. A little bit on the sponge. Yep. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this one for long just to so now it's time to do the lip. We're going to take we're gonna we're gonna use this Atos lip matte lipstick I picked up. I picked two of these. If you follow me on my Instagram, you've definitely see the swatches that I did of this lipstick in the store. Um follow me on my Instagram at Amifullest on, on Instagram so you guys will see. But this is the two shades that I picked up and I really wanted to try. It looks really, really beautiful. And I thought, why not come and just try it? I've never really tried Atos um, Eigenmerk uh, makeup. So this is like the first time. So I, can't, I'm, I really love this brand. Really stand out to me. So let's try this. I'm going to use the Kiko lip liner to line my lip. You know, I love the Kiko lip liner. You guys know that by now. If you guys hear noise in the background, please excuse that. The kids are home, so I don't know. Should I try the pink one because of the eyes? Or should I just try? I'm going to try the brown one. I really love the brown one. The brown one's a little bit tempty to me. So this is what it looks like. Really beautiful. Yo, this is... Beautiful, O N G. Yo, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So now it's time to highlight. Let's highlight. I'm really excited. It's so cute. This is so beautiful, guys. Like, real beautiful. So now let's highlight. I'm going to use this MAC highlighter. I'm going to first take a little bit. We're going to do the outer corner, the inner corner of my eyes. I like to drag it up a little bit like that. Do the same thing here. It's 
take a little bit, put it on the nose. I like to use my finger to just blend everything out smoothly. That's it. So we're gonna take the bougie cosmetic highlighter brush. Just gonna dab that, and then we're gonna ooh, just blend. Yo, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I like to bring my highlight a little bit upwards. Like this. Let's highlight the chin. So yeah, this is it. It looks so cute. So now you know what? Let's set the face. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetic um, Setting Spray. So beauties, this is the finished result. The eyes is really beautiful. The lipstick ate us. Yo, 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 I love this lipstick, guys. I really, really do. And I, pick, I pair it up with this pink, um, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I really, really love this look. It's really, really beautiful. You guys, do you guys see the transformation? We go from no makeup to no glam to glam i really love this so i hope you all like this video if you guys do please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share don't forget to follow me on my instagram my facebook like page all the links will be down in the description box this is again and forget not to abonnee and don't forget to not follow up my instagram and my facebook page and as you have this lip stiffer from the ages gebruik let me as you believe it in the description box i will know what you want to find because this 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 here this here Ik vind dit echt super mooi. Zo mooi. Het is echt heel mooi. Het is een matte lipstick. Het is super super mooi. En het is niet zo heel duur. Dus ja. Zie ik jullie op mijn volgende video. This is again Emmy. Doeg. Bye.